guys. Hope everyone's been blessed and highly favored. Just wanted to give you ladies a really quick update. Um, so if you watched my last video, you'll know that my first beta um, was done 14 days past five day transfer and that beta was $3.99. My second one was done 16 days past five day transfer and that was $7.61. Um, I winded up having two more betas done. Um, the third beta was done on 18 days past five day transfer and that was $12.81. And my last beta um, was done 21 days past five day transfer and it was um, $27.57. So $2,757 um, was my beta on my 21 day past five day transfer. So Friday, this Friday is May the 8th and at 10.30 in the morning, Hubby and I um, have our first ultrasound scan to see the baby, maybe the heartbeat, how many's in there. I'm a little bit nervous. But um, as far as symptoms, um, I know if you didn't see my last video, um, you can go ahead and check that out because I did have a list of symptoms. Um, since that video, the only symptoms that I've been having are uh, frequent urination pelvic I don't know if it's pelvic cramping or pelvic pressure it's like I don't know how to explain it and um, pulsating pains in my boobies um, I don't know if I have ever shared with you ladies um, when I was in my early 20s I had a breast reduction and sometimes the weather will make them hurt or like feel different so with this pulsating pain <laughs> through my boobies Sometimes I'm like wondering, is that the baby or is it, you know, pain or a weird feeling in regards to, you know, the uh, breast reduction? Because ever since I had it, I would have like weird feelings once in, like if it was cold, like sometimes they would hurt a little bit. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, those are my symptoms for right now um, are just the having to use the bathroom every so often every like few minutes and the cramping slash pressure in the pelvic area and boobies but um i don't think my boobs would get as sore as someone else because i had that reduction um and i believe that my milk glands were taken out but i'm not sure because i did have to sign a paper saying that i understood that there was a high probability that i would not be able to breastfeed but at that time i was in my early 20s i didn't want no kids but anyway so that's all i have for you right now um looking forward to updating you friday after the doctor's appointment after the scan hopefully they'll give me a little printout that i can show you ladies um I, until then god bless you all and i'm praying for your journeys and um, I hope to see you all soon. Bye.